so today i'm going to talk about the intrinsic parity of uh, neutral pi ion S for this i followed the book the name of the book is an introductory course of particle physics by plash pipa this is the book which i have followed so consider decay of neutral pi ion consider decay of neutral pi ion means pi not gives us the two gamma ray photons so in center of mass frame i can write down that pi not gives us the gamma ray photon both are pointing in the opposite direction so let their momentum is given by say its momentum will be k2 and its momentum will be k1 and it is k and it is minus k vector so since h cross k is equal to p but in natural units we can say that k is equal to p because h cross is equal to 1 in natural unit that's why i am representing it by a k vector so these two photons must be in the state these photons must be in a state in a state such that their total angular momentum is zero total angular momentum is zero that is j is equal to zero so let us have a note here one special note that uh, to construct a state to construct a state with zero angular momentum with zero angular momentum j is equal to zero the wave function must be scalar must be scalar but for j is equal to one state the wave function should be vector the wave function should be a vector should be a vector so our case is for j is equal to 1 our case is for j is equal to 0 so thus the function must be a scalar right so for the wave function to be a scalar there are two possibilities there are two possibilities one is epsilon one epsilon two into f of k and uh, epsilon 1 cross epsilon 2 
into k into f of k here epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 these are the polarization vector polarization vector polarization vectors and our k1 is equal to k vector and k2 is equal to minus k vector this these two things which we have to keep in mind so this is for the one photon and this is for the second photon these are the polarization vectors so there are two possibilities one possibility is this and another possibility is this these two gives us the scalar functions right but in this case in this case direction of photon is not considered direction of photon is not considered so it can be omitted but if we consider this case we have considered polarization vector as well as direction right so if i try to look at this it's a vector triple product so if i consider this term epsilon 1 cross epsilon 2 into k into f of k then it is a cross product and the cross product is is anti symmetric under the under the interchange of under the interchange of two photons but k also changes sign changes sign under such interchange under such interchange right so that means if i consider collectively epsilon 1 epsilon 2 and k so overall overall this is symmetric overall this is symmetric because this also changes sign and this also changes sign so overall their product is symmetric right and symmetry is the property for the bosonic system this is the property of the bosonic system right so also we have discussed also we have discussed discussed in the earlier lecture in the earlier lectures that epsilon 1 epsilon 2 dot mean scalar triple product is a scalar triple product is a pseudo scalar it's a pseudo scalar and pseudo scalar must have pseudo scalar must have odd parity must have odd parity thus right hand side that is pi naught must have odd parity and is a and is a pseudo scalar right so therefore parity of pi naught is basically minus 1 it has the odd parity and is also a 
pseudo scalar so that's all for this lecture